I remember this story I heard as a kid. It was about these people living in the mountains. Among the Ostiak tribe in Siberia, there was a myth of a god who one day went hunting an elk on skis. He chased it all over the heavens. In desperation, the creature jumped down to earth. The god followed and eventually caught the animal. The traces of this hunt can still be seen among the stars. The Milky Way is God's ski track in the sky. This myth is more than 6,000 years old. Till this day, the gods skiing stars the dark sky. I want my skiing to be remembered like that, illuminating the darkness. This is my ode to skiing.
With the world becoming warmer, skiing started to transform. Skiers are among the first to sense these changes as they touch the very existence of our snow. The story starts at the peak of the last ice age, 22,000 years ago. An ice cap a mile high covered Greenland, North America and the Baltic. Prehistoric man ran the tundra while chasing reindeer. Cave drawings hint that he knew the sledge, the snowshoe, and the ski. I know that because this is my passion. I like the changes. Don't get me wrong, I love this world as much as you do. Adapting to mountains and fields, floods and snowstorms, adapting to steel and concrete. This is new. If the original ski film brought people to the mountains, the type of skiing I'm about to tell you comes to your doorstep. The latest form of adaptation is known as urban skiing, or street skiing, or freestyle skiing in the streets. Call it snowboarding, call it what you want, the game is more important than the name. Who am I? Let me put it this way. people at once, a ghost, your guide through the story.
A particular place or environment is called a spot. Spots may differ from each other, but I take them all back to the same place. Here. The skier's mind is made of several parts. Memory. Thousands of locations are archived, waiting to become a part of skiing history. Research. Countless hours of film footage must be reviewed and analyzed. No repetition. No settling. Recovery. When the body recovers, the mind explores. Dreams may be stored in our memory, waiting to be recalled. A skier always dreams of skiing. Vision. When everything is thought through, the performance is projected in the skier's brain. Action. And after all comes the day to make it real.
cities are built for movement and fit skiing remarkably well until reaching the limits and breaking the code becomes inevitable. I was ready for everything. Nothing could stop me. As I was looking for more thrilling, more exciting spots around me, this was just the beginning. I was born into a snow culture hundreds of miles downhill from the mountain tops. But I still shared the same passion for skiing. Far from the thrill-seeking extreme skiers on the suicidal couloirs from Patagonia to the Himalayas, there I was in the streets of Riga, standing on my own urban ski run. Some people found it useless. Some kept me going and called it unique. Others just called the police. This was just a part of the game and I was getting used to it.
skiing became a mission to complete. Each and every time more complicated than the last and full of adrenaline. Having a task was now part of the game. It was a performance. As I was writing my thoughts down again, there it was, my opportunity. I needed progress, the next part of my city conquest. There was something more, something bigger, something more thrilling waiting for me, waiting around the corner. This was it, the time for a perfect mission, like in the movies. City center, peak hour, few minutes, and we're gone. A rented van stops at six o'clock. Crew jumps out, unloads the truck, driver takes a turn around the corner, skier approaches on foot. Move slowly towards the spot. At that moment, the crew has prepared everything. Skier. Skier takes the bungee cord and hits the rail. Stomps it, first try, flawlessly. Takes off his skis. Driver turns from the corner and we leave.
This was it, the time for a perfect mission, like in the movies. I couldn't tell whether it was skiing or not. I can believe it. It was cool and that satisfied me. A performance, an organized flash mob that passes by as the audience. But some things are meant to fail. The wild wind is a relief, a personal bliss, my jackpot, my inner peace. I stare every direction trying to work out why I've killed my will. I struggle, I shoot, I miss, again I miss. The city is full of drilled and fulfillable holes lost opportunities. The city fucks the sunbeam, fucks my holy bliss. Regrettably, I am a pushover, a fucking overkill, the fountain of youth. I constantly risk everything, but none of this is a rehearsal nor a test. I have to find a decent way to tell you. I was still learning and damn the rest. Perhaps I was not as strong as I thought. My thoughts were starting to make me feel uncomfortable. Outside action became less frequent. Adaptation to climate had another meaning. 
skiing had become antisocial, dangerous and painful. But at that point, I enjoyed it even more. I made a pillow out of all the bones I ever broke and traveled to sleep. There was a skier in a foreign land. He dreamed of a snow city, white and grand. The slopes were the streets of infinite length. With joy in his eyes, adventures ahead. There he went. Never he fell. Never he stopped. He skied the white snow all night till he dropped. Back in his bed as the dream was lost. It was all a dream, it was. It did not echo and never came back. He always was telling this dream that he had.
I woke up in the city. Again, I remembered everything. Mornings are the continuation of my ongoing dreams. My self-created depths and undeserved wins. I used to have this dream once. The neglected power, the purest shower. The love leftovers. Deliberate hangovers, unwanted pushovers. Many souls entered my bones and then they just leave. The city is just the beginning, a tease. My days should have been spent alone in the pure sand beach. Am I the maker of my own environment? Am I a skier? I didn't design the city, but I had plans for it. Some of them already mapped out, some of them still in my mind. Once it became too difficult to pursue them in the city, I moved out to Karma Grounds. It was a game of cowboys and Indians, manipulating the boundaries of public space.
As I was leaving, I recognized my dirty streets named after intelligent poets. And I passed by this girl. There was a kid in me. She saw it. She didn't look at me or call me out on my misery. For all the world to see, I had to go back to where it once started to grow. I am scared of time passing. I am scared of growing old. Forget all my nonsense, it has evaporated. It has already left. Forget what I said about death, I have seen or what I knew. I'm at the unforgiving death in you. I locked it in and decided to keep. Forget what I said about my lost traits, I have to come clean. I met the truth in you. I should have remained quiet. There are a lot more to this world that I have not seen. Man is a traveling animal, and winter is the season of movement. Snow, the railway tracks. Skis, the Nord Express. The game had to continue outside of the city. If the polar expedition once gave us the sport of skiing, I had to explore it my way. But first, a memorable departure. After all, it's still a mission, right?
Uncharted territory has always provided people with knowledge and opportunity. From hunters, soldiers, and polar explorers to Olympians and enthusiasts, the skis were a revolution. They carved the path for human adaptation into life's new demands. I can only imagine what skiing was like back then. All I can remember is this story I heard as a kid. Among the Ostiak tribe in Siberia, there was a myth of a god who one day went hunting an elk on skis. He chased it all over the heavens. In desperation, the creature jumped down to earth. The god followed and eventually caught the animal. The traces of this hunt can still be seen among the stars. The Milky Way is God's ski track in the sky. This myth is more than 6,000 years old. Till this day, the God's skiing stars the dark sky. I want my skiing to be remembered like that illuminating the darkness. Everyone has their own story. And any time you question whether your form of skiing is right or wrong, think of the Milky Way. And remember, there can be no wrong. This is my own to skiing.